What's up guys? I hope you all are fine. Back with another pack and bicep workout. So let's dive into it. So the first exercise will be deadlifts. As you all know, I perform deadlifts on all back days. This is the first compound movement that I perform. Now the tricky part is I have started German volume training in which I do a 5 to 5 which means 5 sets of 5 reps of about 80% of your 1 rep max. I am doing this in order to break my plateau. So deadlifts is one of the best exercises because it overall develops the body and it incorporates all of your muscles. Of course, of course it is the best and it is the most risky one also because a lot of practice needs to be done in order to correctly perform this movement. So, and now the second exercise is Pendley Rose. Now this was the first time that I was performing this particular back movement which restricts your lower body and the only muscles which are getting affected is your back especially your lat muscles and go low there is no need to go heavy on this exercise go low with the correct form and you'll feel a real nice burn afterwards the third exercise is seated cable row now this is something which i have been doing a lot and it has helped me a lot in framing that V taper back the major emphasis should be laid on retracting the shoulder blades and keep it retracted throughout the movement and just squeezing the lats as much as possible to create maximum tension now coming to biceps uh, now I'm doing inclined double curls it will hit the outer head or the long head of the bicep uh, the angle should be around 60 degree to 55 degree and uh, the focus should be squeezing the muscle at the top and releasing it slowly. The eccentric motion should be about of 2-3 to three seconds and that's it. The next movement for the short head is spider curls. Now this is something which I have incorporated in my bicep regime and it is blasting my biceps like anything i would prefer this over preacher curls the movement is same but the isolation is just at another level so yes please do add this movement it will really affect the overall bicep growth drastically and uh, the main thing is that your chest is dead hanged on the seat you're completely dead hanged and the whole pressure is on the bicep so no need to go with high weight low weight and high reps good to go the next exercise the basic starter of bicep workout which is neutral grip bicep curls with dumbbell now this is of course the staple bicep growth exercise same thing elbow should be static no elbow movement no body momentum and squeeze at the top make sure that you squeeze the pinkies inward you know to maximize the tension in the bicep muscle and you can do it alternate or at the same time depends on the stamina i prefer alternate because it make, gets a much better mind muscle connection and the last exercise is the superset now i do supersets at the end so i'm doing double shrugs for trap muscles make sure to squeeze the trap and trap only not your neck muscles and all your back muscles only the trap a good mind muscle connection needed and the second super exercise in the super is hammer curls hammer curls is for the brachioradialis muscle uh, the basically the ov overall forearm so that was it guys i hope you guys liked it um do share the video thank you